Okay, so we're all soldered up here. I've taken my Sega Genesis music player and I've put it on a piece of perf board. And uh, I thought about actually making a PCB for this, uh, but I decided not to. I wanted to make one last prototype, but I wanted it to at least be soldered together because uh, some of the breadboard connections were just getting annoying with how finicky they were. Uh, so I, I bought some giant pieces of perf board from like AliExpress. And uh, yeah, it took me like three days to solder this. Honestly, I think making a PCB would have been faster, but regardless, it's done. Now it's pretty much the same as the last version. A couple pins have changed around and the programming's a bit different. Uh, however, I have added a Bluetooth controller, so if I want to change songs via Bluetooth, I can do that. And it's nice because you get that wireless control and uh, using a USB control, which still exists, uh, it adds some like really bad whining noise to the actual like uh, audio output. So it's not really preferable. You can actually hear that a little bit in the, uh, in the last video I posted, some a little bit of uh, wine from the USB. Uh, I've changed the LCD color. It's just a white one. It's removable, and it's running off its own little voltage regulator power source. It used to be running off the Teensy's 3.3 volts, but that, uh, the i squared C bus, it, you can probably see how it's refreshing on the screen right now, how it's kind of flickering. That added a ton of noise, so adding its own voltage regulator really helped out. Chips are still the same, YM2612, SN76489, doing all the hard work. You can see the data is going past here. <laughs> it looks really cool in real life, but uh, the IR filter on this camera is pretty bad, so it kind of washes it out, but you can still see the data that's flowing into both of these chips. Amplification and mixing, still pretty much the same. The new features is you can turn off the channel, so if I turn this up, you can turn off the PSG. You can actually turn off left and right channels too. So now that speaker's going. You can turn off both channels if you want. How about just right? I'm sorry, just left. Hey, there we go. So that's pretty much it. Just like last time, I'll make a little playlist of these things going nuts. And here we go.
last thing I wanted to show off is a preview of another video game music player that I'm actually making that's based off a different system. This one is based off the MSX, which was a Japanese home computer in the late 80s and 90s. It is uh, ran off a YM2413, uh, and this is a little FM synth. It's a super simple one, and it's actually using the same technology as the Sound Blaster sound cards from the late 90s, but it's way, way cut down. And it's accompanied by the AY38, focus, 38910. And this is really similar to the Sega Genesis's PSG. It just kind of makes square waves, but it has a couple envelopes on it too. So you can make some pretty cool sounds. And I'll play just a couple songs on this one just so you can hear what it sounds like. Uh, forgive the wiring, it's a little bit messy. I'm still figuring stuff out. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching.